Hey, welcome you Larrys. So we're doing another holiday question. This time we're focusing on parametric differentiation. So we have some parametric uh, equations of a curve. We've got x is equal to 4t over 2t plus 3 and we have y is equal to 2 uh, ln bracket 2 plus 3 and we are first being asked to express dy dx the gradient function uh, in terms of t uh, simplifying our answer. So our first move on this is we want to find dx dt and we want to find dy dt. So I'm going to work on dx dt first. So dx dt. Now I can see that I'm going to need to use the quotient rule with this. So I'm going to say u is equal to 4t and therefore du dt must be of course 4. Then I'm going to say v is equal to 2t plus 3 and therefore dv dt must simply be 2. At this point I can use my quotient rule uh, dx dt is equal to v times du dt which is 4 times 2t plus 3 which is equal to 8t plus 12. I'll put a bracket around that and then we're going to subtract from that uh, u dv dt which is 8t and we're going to pop that all over v squared, which is 2t plus 3, and we'll have that all squared. You can see, hopefully, that the top line will simply be uh, 12. So I can simplify dx dt to 12 all over 2t plus 3, and that's going to be all squared. Okay, that's our first step. So now let's think about how we're going to do... Uh, dv, uh, sorry, dy dt. I'll do this in red. Okay, for this you probably want to have a look at your textbook. I would say you probably want to uh, take a look, I think it's exercise 4.2 off the top of my head. Um, okay, so we've got y is equal to 2 ln bracket 2t plus 3, so dy dt is 2, this 2 here, multiplied by uh, we differentiate this inner bracket here, 2, and then we pop it all over 2t plus 3. Now hopefully you can see at this point, we're just going to have a 4 on top. Uh, okay, so it will be 4. Now the last step in finding dy dx, of course, is this step. It's kind of like a chain rule, dy dx is equal to uh, dy dt multiplied by dt dx. You can see here we're cancelly cancelly. So dy dt is 4 over 2t plus 3 and we're going to multiply d that by dt, uh, dt dx. Now that is simply the reciprocal of this one here. 2t plus 3 and that's all squared, and that's going to be all over 12. Now let's do some simplification as required. Gets rid of that. Uh, 1, 4 is 4, and uh, 3, 4 is a 12, so it's simply a 3 here. And we can say, well, dy dx is therefore 2t plus 3 all over 3. Uh, and that's our final answer for that section. Now let's move on to part two. In part two, we're finding the gradient of the curve uh, at the point in which x is equal to one. So uh, since gradient function is in terms of t, I need to say, well, what is t when x is one? So I'm going to use this equation here. One equals 4t all over 2t plus three and so 2t plus 3 is equal to 4t, uh, 3 is equal to 2t, and t is therefore equal to 3 halves. I now am going to pop this into this equation here, uh, and I will get uh, 2 times 3 over 2, which is 3. So it will be uh, dy dx is going to be equal to 3 plus 3 over 3, which is equal to 
2 and that will be our gradient of the curve at the point where x is equal to 1. Well I hope this makes sense to you guys. Parametric equations and uh, parametric differentiation aren't so hard after all are they? Take care.